Sounds good. All right, good day, everybody. There's Emar Purdue the Sports Inquirer, and we are happy to be joined by Gunther Rankenberg from Georgia State Men's Soccer, who are going to be in the NCAA tournament. Uh, Gunther, thank you for joining us. Congratulations. And how does it feel to be part of the NCAA tournament? Thank you. Um, it's honestly a really big deal. I know, obviously, we were disappointed in not winning conference, but if you look at it as a whole, getting an at-large bid for the NCAA tournament is pretty big time. So we're just happy to be a part of it and well-deserved and hopefully we continue playing throughout it. Yeah, the team has won 12 contests this season in our ND NCAA tournament for the fifth time in program history, since to first time since 2018. What about you and the upperclassmen? What does this mean for you guys that have been through a lot over the past two years, the entire team in general, uh, but particularly for the, the juniors and seniors? Uh, what does that mean for you to get the team back in the NCAA tournament uh, after a few years away? Um, obviously, it's like I said, it's a really big deal. And I know that obviously some of the seniors that are leaving were pretty disappointed the other day after the conference final, but it just gives us another second chance to have another run at something and to play for and to keep playing with each other one last time maybe, and hopefully we can make it more than one last time and continue as far as possible. Yeah, you mentioned the conference tournament. You, before we get to the finals of that tournament against Northern Illinois, how big do you think that win against West, West Virginia was, uh, getting that 1-0 victory, uh, getting the shutout uh, towards getting the at-large bid? Um, I think it was a really big part, honestly, because we played them – two weeks before that and lost and with two minutes left, which was tough. But then we just obviously knew it was a semifinal and it's a big game. And I think they were ranked pretty highly at that point. So obviously that probably made a huge role in probably getting us closer to that at large bid. So that was a huge win, a uh, great victory, great team effort, and happily kept the shutout in that game as well. Yeah, you did. And you did fall to Northern Illinois two to one do over over double overtime uh, in that contest, but you dealt a lot of adversity, different type of pitch, snow <laughs> playing in that contest. Uh, what about just the, the team's performance in that and being able to just fight through that and uh, not come out with a victory, but put a very competitive effort out there? Yeah, it was really a bizarre just day really like I think the wind gusts were up to like 30 miles per hour that day it was like 30 snowing and like the team just put out a really good effort of like what we could do and what was in our control and obviously like the weather and the turf field played a part in that but what we did do was play our best and try to obviously overcome those challenges and we played pretty well and just unluckily fell with five minutes left in overtime and yeah it was a tough one yeah, but you guys have rebounded. And what about this season? Mitch going to a new conference, a more competitive conference, one of the best in the country in the MAC, five teams in the NCAA tournament, getting 12 victories, some good non conference victories as well. What has the team been able to do so well this year to emerge with such a, such a, such a good regular season? Um, I think that was the goal from the whole program standpoint from leaving the Sun Belt and then going into the mat because we knew that we could play up there with some of the best teams and that's what like we wanted to do and obviously we've done that this year and we've been rewarded with getting out large bid so I think that's just been the overall goal from the the start was to play with the best teams and beat the best teams yeah and you personally were named to the all Mac first team what does that mean for you individually reaching, receiving that honor and uh, um, getting that I was, accomplishment? I was really pleased with it. I obviously thought I played really well the whole season and I'm just glad I got some recognition for it, but kind of done it with the team as well. And it's just as much as their accomplishment as it is mine. Yep. And now you have Charlotte coming up on November 18th. How are preparations gone for that? How excited is the team? to be competing on this type of stage? Um, the team's obviously buzzing. Um, we went in today, had training, and just the atmosphere is really good. Like, it just seems like we kind of forgot about the conference final because we got a second chance at it now, and it's a bigger stage, and we're all happy for it. And it was just a quick turnaround because we leave tomorrow and then play Thursday, but we'll be ready. Yeah, how did you spend your Monday, Selection Monday? Were you in the on campus? Were you at the facility? Uh, when did you find um, out the selection? 
No, I know. I knew some of the guys who were at um, MLK watching it because they had it on, but I think like half of us had class and I had class. So I was just watching it in class when I found out. So, yeah. And what was that feeling like when you saw on your phone or your, your computer that you got the selection to the tournament? I was, I was really happy, obviously. And I feel like people noticed in class and they were probably like, what is this guy doing? But, I was gonna say, did you get out of class early? Did you let out a shout? What, what were, people, <laughs> no. were people were people aware that you were kind of keeping track of that in the class? Um, I don't think so, to be honest. <laughs> but they probably were wondering what what I was doing in class. Awesome. Well, Gunther, thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate it, and hopefully, we can catch up later uh, after a nice long run in the tournament. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Thank you, Gunther. Bye.